Hey everyone, and welcome to The Crafty Girl. Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn trash into this adorable jack-o'-lantern bucket using some yarn, felt, and a zip tie. I was inspired by this microwave rice bowl that I almost threw in the trash and knew I needed a way to reuse it. So I grabbed my 22 pin knitting machine and some yarn and I got to work. For the body, I cast on without waist yarn and then just knit 30 rows. Then I cast off with a darning needle and cinched one end together. Then I tied it off and kept it as flat as possible. Then I grabbed my drill and made a hole in the center of the bowl. For this part, I used my wool needle to pull the cinch side tail up through the bowl. In hindsight, I would suggest putting the tail through the bottom of the bowl to make it easier to tie together. But either way, pull the body over the bowl and secure both yarn tails together. You can see here how much I actually struggled to get a tight knot from the inside of the bowl, and I will definitely pull the tail through the bottom next time. If you want a tighter fit on the inside, you could also hot glue the yarn to the bottom first before tying the tails together. For the lid, I used an old OxyClean container and traced the shape of the top of the bowl. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be a little bit wider. Back to the knitting machine, I used the same yarn and knit 20 rows using that same process from the beginning. To assemble the lid, I slipped the plastic circle inside and then cinched and tied off the ends on the sides of the circle, not on the top and the bottom. I hid one tail and then attached the same color yarn to the other tail so I could crochet the rim. If you don't crochet, you could leave this step out and hot glue a pipe cleaner or ribbon or maybe sew I cord to the bottom, whatever works for you. For the crochet, I did single crochet in the back loops for the first row and then just two additional rows of single crochet. Then tied off and hit the tails. I also crocheted a stem, but again, you could hot glue a bead or a pom-pom or even just leave it off if you aren't feeling it. I just attached it by tying it to the center and then hiding those tails. For the face, I used felt and I just attached with hot glue. One little tip though, make sure you put your finished lid on when deciding where to put your eyes. That way you don't accidentally cover them with the lid in the end. The final step is the handle. There's so many ways you can do this part too. You can use pipe cleaners, crochet, you can use wire, um, and I just used a zip tie. And then I got that zip tie in a pack from the Dollar Tree, so I already had it laying around. I cut off the connecting end so it was flat, and then I just slipped each side through the yarn to the other side and hot glued it in place. And then I did that on both sides. And to make sure I had a really clean finish on the inside, I took some extra felt and I hot glued that on top of the plastic so that it looked really clean. And here's how it turned out. Not only did I save trash from the landfill, but I have an adorable piece to show for it. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if you make this project, don't forget to tag the crafty girl so I can share. Until next time, everyone. See ya.